Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I knew it. Knew I was going to drop that. Welcome to your love reading for Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Cross-watchers are welcome. Um, if you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I have a Virgo and Leo-only channel also, guys. Um, the links to those are in the description box below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits it's you and your situation. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, uh, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you know when my readings post. And when I go live, I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and crystals, okay? Um, and I go live and I choose the winners from that live. So make sure that notification bell is on, okay? Uh, what else? I don't take personal readings. Any phone numbers you see in the comment section is not me. If anyone reaches out to you on social media it is also not me um, there's a TikToker out there that's claiming to be me it's not me okay if you need a personal reading you could reach out to Barbara from Quartz Rose Tarot the link to book with her is below special shout out to Carly from Lilith's Window Tarot she just went um, full-time on YouTube so if you would like to give her a warm welcome the link to her channel is below also okay all right my beautiful cancer babies let's get popping and let's see what we have here Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer in love. Guys, by the way, I just got a new camera in. I hope, and it's supposed to be like zoomable because I hate that you can't see the cards. So I got a new camera in. I'm going to try it out later on tonight. Let's see if it works. Okay. Anyways, we've got memories and we've got ego. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got lost and we have bottled up. Oh gosh. Tell me about cancer, please. We have dismissed. And we have jealousy. Okay, uh, Cancer, what I'm getting here is a major backfire. I literally just heard a card backfire. Um, yeah, I did. If I would have known then what I know now. Okay. All right, so here's the deal, Cancer. Something here backfired on your person, and let, let me tell you what happened, okay? I feel like you and your person were going through a difficult time in your relationship, okay? And this person quite possibly started just talking to another person. I don't feel that it was sexual. I don't feel that it was like uh, romantic. You know, they just met someone, maybe someone through a friend or a work or a co-worker or something. I don't know. Okay. They, they met this person and this person kind of fueled their ego because maybe there was some flirtation involved or maybe your person got the vibe that this third party liked them. Okay. And this person was so in their ego. And I feel like what happened was cancer was that this person was like, why do I need to sit here and deal with you and all of your nagging and all of your annoying stuff when I could be out with that new thing over there that I'm sure would jump all over me if I wanted to pursue it. Do you understand? Um, and I feel like this person cut you off, turned their back on you, walked away from you because because they got in their ego thinking that, you know, they could have that third party thing. Now, again, I want to make it clear. I don't really feel that this was romantic or sexual before your person broke up with you. Okay. I just think that your person was like, oh, look at how many people want me or, you know, like your person just felt like they could replace you very easily. Okay. 
They dismissed you. They dismissed you. They ignored you. And I feel like there was a part of them, Cancer, that wanted to make you jealous. It's almost like an energy of, okay, well, you think I'm such a piece of crap? You think I'm such a you? You think that there's so many problems with me where I'm going to go off with this little, with, with this man or this woman over here and I'm going to get into this amazing relationship and I'm going to show you and you can eat your heart out. Like that's the energy that this person was taking on. And now with deja vu and blind, this person is in an energy, oh my gosh, if I would have actually seen what I was getting myself into, okay? Because I feel like, you know, side piece toxic and completely done, your person did go towards that third party, but this person was toxic as shit. You know, they were toxic cancer. And now it's over between that third party they tried to, they cut their nose to spite their face cancer. Do you understand? Instead of just sitting down and having a conversation with you and working things out and you guys coming to a compromise and an understanding of each other's feelings, this person just thought that the more, the, 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 the better idea here would be to tell you to screw off and just go ahead and replace you. And you know what I'm saying? With something that was, you know, easier or whatever, you know? But it's, it's, you know, the, the, now they're in an energy of what the hell was I thinking? What was I thinking? You know, they, they tried to spite you, Cancer, and they end up hurting themselves. Tell me about ego here, please, for Cancer. Queen of Wands. This was a very good looking third party energy. Okay, it, I mean, it, whether this was a man, a woman, and again, I don't necessarily, I mean, it's possible, I'm not going to say it's impossible, Cancer, but I feel like for the majority of the collective, I don't feel like these two had had sex yet, or, uh, you know, were romantic yet in any way, shape, or form. I just felt like there may have been some flirtation, and your person got it in their head of like, oh yeah, I can get, I can, I can hit that, I can hit that, you know, um, yeah, see, memories with the King of Pentacles and the Lover's Card. Now, Cancer, the Lover's Card is what? Adam, Eve, and the Snake, right? Your person here, could have been a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, was supposed to be loyal to you. They were supposed to be committed to you, okay? Their loyalties were to you at that point in time, and they got tempted by this Queen of Wands energy that fueled their ego. Do you see what I'm saying? That fueled their ego. Tell me about Lost, please and the two of pentacles, okay? I feel like this person decided, you know, I wonder what would happen if I was single. I wonder what would happen if I just, you know, decided to cut cancer off and go give it a shot. I'm positive I would win. I'm positive if I take this action, I'll have victory and I'll have success. I'm positive. Tell me about bottled up here for cancer and the seven of cups. It was all a joke. It was all an illusion. Okay, with bottled up in the seven of cups, this person was in their head. Okay, I mean, we have a king of pentacles and a queen of wands. Okay, um, I mean, the queen of wands may have been younger or just really good looking. This guy or this girl may have been like way out of this king of pentacles league. Do you see what I'm saying? But I don't know what this person was thinking. Um, yeah, see five of wands, the ace of cups and the king of wands to the queen of wands. This queen of wands energy, whether they're male or female, they have an entourage of people that are telling them you are the one for me, baby. You are where it's at. You are the one for me. Okay, this queen of wands energy, whether it's a male or a female, is very attractive, very seductive. You know, this is, uh, you know, I don't even want to say a temptress. This person is just freaking sexy, you know, whatever. Okay, and, and you know, maybe they have a flirtatious way about them. Maybe people think like, oh, that person wants me. They definitely want me. Meanwhile, this person just said good morning. Do you understand what I'm saying? This queen of wands may just be telling your person good morning every day. They're, they're the receptionist at the front desk of where they work. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Oh, they want me. That, that receptionist, she would tear my clothes off. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like everybody wants this person. And I feel like this queen of wands energy is quite frankly minding their business, honestly. Tell me a little bit more about this queen of wands energy. Page of cups, being friendly. 
being friendly. Look, page of cups. This, this third party energy is just friendly. Okay. Um, I, I don't really feel that, you know, this queen of wands energy was tempting anybody. They're just hot. This person's just hot, good looking, sexy, you know, whatever. Tell me about this miss here for cancer. And the seven of pentacles, this person's looking back at the mistake that they made. Two of wands here and the queen of cups, Cancer. They should have chosen you and with temperance, they should have asked for your forgiveness, sat down and shut the hell up. That's what they should have done. That, cut, sorry, Cancer, I'm going to sit right here and wait for you to finish my macaroni and cheese and we're going to watch this movie. And that's how this night's going to go. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, cancer, your person's like, why didn't I just shut up and tell Cancer I'm sorry and just put in the work in my relationship and do whatever. Instead, no, Cancer. This person wanted to hurt you. They wanted to betray you. They wanted for you to have pain in your life. They wanted you to be jealous. You see what I'm saying? And with the Justice card and the Eight of Swords, karma isn't going to let that go. Because Cancer, I feel like whatever problems you had in the relationship, Relationship were valid. You know, your feelings are valid. If you were having an issue in the relationship, this person should have sat down and listened to your concerns and you guys should have worked it out. Okay. And now what we have here with the Ten of Wands, the Justice card and the Eight of Swords, uh, karma is chewing this person a new one. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. My allergies are like all over the place. Karma is not going to let this person forget what they did to you because they went towards that third party with such negative intention of like, oh, I'm going to get with this person and cancer is going to watch me go be with this hot ass person and this person's going to be all over me and cancer is going to regret telling me anything. Boy, sit your booty down and just eat your grilled cheese and mind your damn business. That's, that's really what this is about, Cancer. Your person needs to sit the hell down, eat their, their grilled cheese and their chicken nuggies, and go back to playing video games and stop being cute. That's what needs to happen here because this person thought they were cute. They're not that cute, okay? Mm -mm. All right, let's see here. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. We've got mirror and distance. You're like, you know what? Cancer, let me tell you, you did not argue with this person. I feel exactly the way you do. You need to go be with that person over there. Yeah, you need to go be with that person over there because with lust here and despair, Cancer, you knew that that whole situation over there was lust and not love. Okay, you knew that wherever this person was going, it was all about lust and not love and that it was going to fall apart. And with the chase and chemistry, your person was going to come chasing you for that good old thing back. You already know you're an intuitive sign. You already know how this game goes. Now, all of a sudden, they want only you because they're paying karma cancer. They're, they're paying the consequences for their actions, okay? I feel like with trapped and misunderstood, your person feels like they made a mistake and they feel victimized because this third party had them all up in their head fantasizing. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, with letting go and beauty. But here's the thing, guys. I mean, there's nothing there. This is just a good-looking person. Do you understand? You know, your person should have just looked at this man or this woman and been like, oh, they're nice to look at. Gotta go. Bye. You know, you know, they should have just, uh, you know, enjoyed just looking at them, you know, and moving on with their life and letting it go. You know, it was a fantasy. This person is very good looking. I don't know who this person is, but they're hot. Okay. I'm sorry. I gotta be honest with you. Okay. Whoever this queen of wands energy is, they're hot and they're sweet. They're sweet and they're kind and they're not doing anything to bother anyone. Your person just didn't want to deal with your crap and, and they just got it in their head that if they walked away from you, they could go snatch up this third party and rub it in your face. And now they're crying. <laughs> cancer, cancer, please, please, I'm sorry. No, oh my gosh. Tell me about mirror, please. Tell me about mirror. The tower in the reverse, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Cancer, when the tower falls in the upright, uh, you know, you could come together with your person and you can pick up the pieces and fix whatever problems as to why the tower fell and bring it back together. When it's in the reverse, Cancer, 
there is no foundation to fix. It's like annihilation. Do you understand what I'm saying? Dodging a bullet, saying, nope, this ain't for me. Done. Distance, four of cups, six of swords. I'm moving on. The eight of cups. Look at this, Cancer. You are done. Oh my gosh, you are done. We've got lust here and then the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles with the lover's card. So you and this person could have been, you know, married, had children together. You could have been, had a lot of financial assets together. Like, you know, you could have had a very financially prosperous future together. This person is going to have regrets here with this five of cups energy because they gave up a true soulmate, a lifelong partner for lust. Okay, a lifelong person partner for lust. Tell me about despair. Three of Pentacles. Now this person's desperately wanting to work it out. King of Swords and the Three of Pentacles for me. That's can we go see a counselor? We could go uh, to talk to somebody, this, this, and that. I want to work it out. Now all of a sudden they're begging to work it out. Now all of a sudden what they should have done before, they didn't do that. Do you understand? Before it was like, F you, I'm going to go run off with this hot toddy over here. Do you see what I'm saying? Now that the hot toddy's like, I don't want you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like your person is calling the third party toxic because the third party rejected them. But the third party's like, I never said I was going to go out with you. I just said, good morning. Would you like some coffee? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, this third party is just like, I didn't know that, you know, that this person maybe makes their coffee in the morning. I don't know why I'm picking up on coffee. And this person's like, yeah, I smile at you because I get paid to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This third party's like, yeah, I'm nice to you because like, that's like my job, dude. <laughs> like, you know, like this third party is just minding their business. Um, and, and, you know, cancer, now this person is sitting down. And they want to talk, you know, because they're realizing they got this third party put them in their place. Tell me about the chase. Two of swords. Cancer, you want nothing to do with this person. You don't want to talk to this person at all. But Cancer, three of cups here. This person is not going to let up. Tell me about chemistry and the knights of pentacles. Cancer, I have to be honest, the fact that you're not taking this person back quickly, it's kind of like boosting this person's chemistry a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like boosting this person's kind of chemistry a little bit. The fact that you are so quick, that, that you were so quick to let this go and move on with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles here. The fact that you're, you might be dating other people. Maybe you started a new business or something or got a new hairstyle or something like that. You know, Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, you're tired because you're going at it alone. You know, or if you are stressed about something, you're definitely not showing it. You're looking good, feeling good, possibly making bank here. You know, this person's trying to keep their composure, but I feel like they kind of find it attractive that you're, um, that you're kind of like pulling away from them. Okay. Nine of cups in the reverse. But the problem is, is that this isn't a game. This is not a game for you, cancer. You are not joking. Like really, I don't like you anymore <laughs> like you're just like yeah no it's like you think this is cute and we're playing cat and mouse and runner chaser no like get away from me though <laughs> you're like you're really cancer you are not uh you're not feeling this person anymore like that you know what i'm saying all right so cancer let's see what's gonna happen here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take it into the extended and we're gonna do maybe three readings. I'm going to do one for those of you who do reconcile and I'm going to do another one for those of you who don't because I feel like you guys are ready for something new. You are not, no, I feel like many of you are not interested in this. So what's coming in for you and maybe we'll pull from my predictions deck, okay? If we have enough time. All right, guys, I love you so much. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you and I'll see you there. Bye, my loves.